Testing. Testing. Okay. So, today, I'm going to reveal to you something that I should have a long time ago, as that I am actually a master hacker. And now, I think we've all waited long enough for Kingdom Hearts 3. You've seen our videos, you've seen many videos on it, and we're done waiting. So, today, in order to demo to you how to actually hack, we are going to hack directly into Square Enix's mainframe. Now, just follow along, do what I tell you, uh, do not do anything that I don't tell you, and we won't get arrested, we won't get in trouble, and we should find everything that we need. So let's do this. So remember, this isn't something that should be taken lightly. You can get in serious trouble for this. I'm only taking these extreme measures because Square Enix has forced our hands at this point. Nomura, you shouldn't have done this. So, a few precautions that we need to take. Number one, wear a mask. Wear a mask and a hood, so they cannot identify anything but your eyes. Make sure the quality is as low quality as this video as well. If you get in, and you can see them, they can see you. Two, disguise your voice like I am doing. If you get in and you can see them, if you can hear them, they can hear you as well. And three, you do need more than one keyboard. I mean, ideally, you have two. My setup has three. And we're going to show you that to you right now. I should not be doing this, but we need more hackers to help with the cause. So as you can see, this is the setup that I have. Yours does not have to mimic this, but use this as a base. So here we have a blank keyboard. This is good if you're in a public environment. You don't want anyone to look at what you're doing. And if you're a master typer, you don't need to see the keys anyway. This is a light-up keyboard. You need to hack at night. Most hacking should be done at night so you can see what you're doing. And this is my normal keyboard. I didn't have enough funds for another fancy one right now, but it gets the job done if you don't have anything else. Now, the reason for the multiple keyboards is that speed is crucial. The more keyboards you have, the faster you can hack. Now, you should also be able to type at least 100 words per minute. Because you're going to be racing against the anti-hackers on their side once you get in. Many people don't know this, but it happens. Okay, and with that knowledge, I believe we're finally ready to start our hack. So, the first thing that we need to do is open Google Chrome, the most secure browser for hacking, and we need to go incognito. Remember, if you're incognito in real life, you need to be incognito online. Now, they will not have you believe that it's actually this simple. We just need to go to their website. And I don't know it off the top of my head. So I've been Square Enix. They'll say, oh, it's not true. This only in movies. It's actually not that easy. That's a lie. They want you to believe that. So let's home Square Enix, their homepage. It does actually link directly to their mainframe. Okay, we've loaded it up. Now the next thing you want to do is open your command prompt. So just go to your start menu, CMD. Remember to right click, run it as an administrator, so that you get right into the system 32. Now, it's very simple. So I developed a bat file that will just instantly, whenever I type, it searches for immediately on their mainframe. Now I will have a link in the description to this bat file, but for now I'm just going to type Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm going to type that in, hit enter, ignore that, hit our gear here, and it should start looking for it. Reading files, scanning. Guys, I don't know what it's going to be. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, we get something good. It could just be another Finny Fun. It could be another Atlantic World. Okay, it's getting into the Square Enix mainframe. First lock. First lock. Hopefully this works, hopefully this works. We can find any files on their server through this. It took some time to develop. Mainframe lock 2, this is the last one. The way this works is I have to hit complete hack as soon as the green bar gets to the end. If I don't do that, it's going to abort the whole mission. Alright, ready? Let's time this. Let's time this. Oh 
almost ready. It's almost ready. And... Complete hack! Whoa. What? What is this? The final boss leaked. Click on it now. Hurry, we only have a few seconds. Click on it. Click on it. <laughs>